This video is brought to you by Bucaso. They are the makers of multifunctional tool racks trending right now on Amazon that offers high quality storage solutions for modelers like you and me. I'll talk about them later in the video and you can learn more about them in the meantime in the link in the description. Let's get this video started. Hey guys, this is Justin from Strategy and this marks a whole new beginning for me on this journey of redemption with a new studio, a relaunch website, and some helpful organizers that increase my work efficiency. Before we start talking about the studio, I would like to bring you guys up to speed on what's going on. In short, I made some risky business moves back then and it results in the loss of inventory and also pre-orders made by my customers. Although I've refunded some already, but there's still a lot to go through. It's a long and hard journey, but I'm not giving up and I'm still trying to redeem myself. Now let's talk about the studio. The truth is, the studio is not new at all. I've moved back with my parents, with my wife and kids. This is nothing to be proud of and I am embarrassed if I'm being honest. However, this is what it needs to be done to reduce my monthly commitment moving forward to do more refunds. The whole move took about a month and more of coordination because I couldn't bring everything back so I had to sell things off, give things away and just filter down to the things that we needed and things that we didn't. The new studio is smaller but efficient. It is now 6 feet wide and 10 feet long so about 60 square feet in total. I have the studio split up into three spaces in total. One customization space, a painting space, and an editing space. I also fully utilized all the wall space that I could, putting out multiple shelves and storage hooks across to make everything work. First, let's take a look at the customization space. This space is where I would spend the most time. This space is dedicated to doing one single thing to customize Gunplus. While on the back, I have an IKEA rack holding my camera, lenses, notebooks, and a charging station at the bottom. In between the two racks would be a shallow space for trash. In the middle would be the biggest table I could fit in the space and it is my main working surface and it is where I would shoot all my customization process as well. To make things easier, I hooked up two different power extension cords for charging, power my lights, and more. At the other side of the table is where I place my fan blowing air up from below rather from the top because it is better to prevent dust directly on me or anywhere. On the right side of the space is where I want to emphasize. There is a space on the right side for a high adjustable self-assembly steel rack where I can organize all my tools. These organizers really help me to become more efficient and save me a lot of time just looking for things sometimes. Now let's look a little closer at them. The organizers are from a company called Bucasso. You can find out more details about them on Amazon store worldwide. I'll put the links in the description. The organizers are made from MDF boards, so they have to be milled into all kinds of design. I have a full set of what they have to offer from GK1 till GK10. You get the idea. They do come predetermined on what's their purpose and how to use them. However, it is up to you and me to decide ultimately what we want to do on them. They come packed in a box, but then you have to assemble yourself with no glue required because they adapt to the packing style to hold everything in place. However, it is definitely recommended that you super glue them for long term use because ultimately MTF boards aren't the strongest things around. Now let me show you what's mine. Side note here is that they are stackable with connecting packs on top of each storage system so you can customize them to your liking. So for my first setup, I got a combination of GK1, GK2, and GK6. GK1 is a multi-purpose tool rack that I've used them to hold my sanding sponges, my pliers, and my nippers. Frequently used marker, sanding plates, super glue, weathering kits, and some more miscellaneous stuff. GK2 is a drawer storage unit and in my opinion, this is one of the most useful models they have so if you're looking to get your storage solutions from them, I would recommend multiple units of this. I've used them to hold my scribing tapes, LED units and soldering stuff, my scribers, masking tapes and also spare knife blades. For the bottom of the unit of the combo, I've got the GK6 which I use to hold all there and anything I want to reach conveniently. My second setup combination consists of the GK3, GK4, and GK5. Nice and easy. The top layer GK3 is used to hold anything that is liquid. The slots are just perfect to hold my Tamiya cement, panel liners, my decal softeners, decal setters, alongside with some glue sticks, a table vise because it fits perfectly in the compartment, and also some other miscellaneous stuff. The middle unit would be the GK4 that holds all my markers from permanent markers, whiteboard markers, Gundam markers, and anything pen-like items. Having them laid out with their corresponding colors facing outwards makes picking colors and usage much more efficient. They have grooves carved out on individual storage platforms so your markers can rest easy on them. On the bottom layer, I have the GK5.
My last setup would be pain related. The combination of GK8 and GK11 makes it easy for me to organize my pain in a tidy manner. The GK8 is a drawer style storage for pain bottle like the ones from Mr. Hobby or Tamiya. I don't have much here, but I do have a lot of top coats. So this is a perfect solution for me. Another drawer within the unit is used to hold smaller plastic bottles of pain. Unfortunately, I do not own much, but if you're a Vallejo user, you should find this super useful. The drawer drops down upon opening, so it's super convenient for you to see what you got and what you're not. The bottom layer will be GK11. It's the last of the Bukaso storage model that I have. The GK11 is an open style storage unit that holds 35 bottles of paint, compatible with Vallejo, Citadel, Tamiya, and more brands model. For me, I use them to store some metallic paint that I rarely use, and on the bottom side, it fits my pre-mixed colors that I often use in a store in the sauce containers that you typically see for takeouts. It's really convenient for my case because now I can see easily on what's available and, and I don't have to dig through storage boxes on what's not. Uh, unfortunately, they do not fit G Paint. So, eh. if you want to find out more about them, please visit the link in the description below. And if I'm not mistaken, there's also some kind of promotion going on for them right now if you use the link. I'll put an information here on the screen just for you guys. At the bottom of the right is where I store more miscellaneous stuff that's less likely to be used, like cables, camera mountings, and so forth. On the bottom right is where I got my HDMI cable all the tech related stuff there my back wall is where i drill in screws to hold all my video equipment to save space i don't have much ground space so it's much more efficient to do it this way i've got my video tripod photo tripod ring lights sliders stabilizers and more hanging on the wall nothing fancy but really useful at the top of the space i put up three shelves side by side on the wall making a u-shaped shelf to provide even more storage space that is where I got my kits, my diorama stuff, paint stuff, foams, and so, 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 so many things in the boxes. Before I got into full-time modeling, I didn't even realize that you need so many things, but apparently you do. Anyway, let's move on to the painting area. The painting area is relatively simple with the waterfall spray booth from Gallery being the focal point. And if you want to find out more about the painting booths and setup that I got, link in the description as well. I do have a hole in the ceiling with the exhaust fan and at the end of it is where I can connect the spray booth's exhaust system. On the left is where I got more of the Bukaso organizers and it is the paint related one. Then I got rubber gloves, my skewers, and on the top is where I store my G paint, my cotton buds, and everything I need to begin painting immediately without spending time setting things up. I made the paint rack myself with some 0.5 millimeters foam board and super glue, nothing fancy, just make sure that they work as intended. My last part would be my editing station. Here at the bottom is where I place my editing PC, then I got my screen on an, on an arm so I can move them however I want across multiple workspaces. I got my mouse, keyboard, speakers, and docks on the table. On top of that, I got more storage shelves where I store more diorama materials that you see here like the grass, rocks, fibers, blah 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 and all this stuff. This is also where I store additional paint stuff like airbrushes, my turntable and more. Lights are really important when you're shooting a video, so let me bring you through my lighting setup. I got my main light mounted on a handmade railing system connecting to the paint wall with metal rods extending out. So they are mobile and I can move them left or right depending on how I want to use them. I'm currently using the Godox SL600W lighting with a 90cm honeycomb diffuser. I'll leave it in the description as well. For my secondary light, I got a table lamp with adjustable brightness and color temperature. Then for some excellent lighting. I got the ultra cheap blue and orange LED light attached to the homemade stand and that's all. For ambience lighting, I got some pretty simple LED light strips stuck across the bottom of the shelves so they are not too dark. I am revamping the website again to cut more costs down because I don't have anything to sell anymore so there's no point to keep using Shopify. Just give me a bit of time to get things running because I have to migrate all the data. The website will be operating just like any blog and info site and I will keep them updated with reviews, tutorials and more there regularly. Other than that, the website now features a refund counter for those who are concerned with the refund progress. I'll keep them updated as soon as I made any progress on the refund status. Each week, I'll be also sharing with you guys my thoughts on the challenges I face, the projects that I'm working on and so on. So there you have it, a not so new studio, uh, but definitely new organizers, definitely new website coming, new challenges, and hopefully a new beginning. 
Everything that you see in this video will be linked down in the description, so make sure you check them out. In the meantime, I'm just gonna keep hustling and make things right. I'm not running away, I'm facing things head on, so please allow me more time to do so because it's been a challenge between balancing between a full-time job, the whole YouTube thing, and the whole business that failed thing and all that stuff. So I just want to thank you all for the support so far and I really appreciate you guys. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.